Okay, everyone. So I wanted to come on here and share with you my church bag. Um, I had gotten this bag about two weeks ago and I meant to do this video and I was watching a, another YouTuber. Her name is Nikki with at home with Nikki and she just posted a video about her spiritual bag. She has several videos about work bags and stuff, but then she posted a video about, um, her spiritual bag, her church bag. And I thought, oh my God, that is confirmation. You've been telling me to do this. So let me do the same thing. So I'm going to show you my church bag and the bags that my children actually carry to church also. So I got this bag from Wilson's Outlet and it um I got it for about $50. Wilson's Outlet was going out of business where I live and so I picked this bag up because I knew it would be perfect for a church bag. So this is the front of it and I'll turn it around so you can see the back. All right, and that's the back. It doesn't have any pockets on the back. And then let me flip it so you can see upside down. It has the it has the feet. <laughs> it has the feet on it so I can stand it up. All right, so in the front, you turn it back around. It does have a pocket in the front. It does not have a pocket on the back, but it has like a two-sided pocket here in the front. But I don't have anything in there right now. So this is the bag that... I will take with me to church on Sundays and for our midweek service, which is on Tuesday. So let me let you see what is inside. All right. <clears throat> so the first thing you can see is this red. So in this thing, actually, it comes out. But in these red folders, and we have five of them because right now there's five people in our family that's still in the house. My other two daughters, um, one is, is, you know, she's an adult now. She has her own family and the other one is off to college. But these are our Sunday school lessons. Uh, what we do is the Sunday school superintendent and the assistant, they actually type out the lessons and we keep these in our folders. So when we get to Sunday school before church, you know, before actual worship service, these are the Sunday school lessons that we are studying. So I just keep those in here. And when we get to church, everybody has their folder. The other thing I have inside here, of course, is my Bible. Now, a lot of people use their um, telephones now, you know, with the electronic Bibles. Let me tell you why I personally do not do that. I've tried it and I'm going to tell you the truth, guys. I get so distracted from uh, when I use my cell phone in church because you have those notifications coming through, even though it's on silence, even though it's on do not disturb, just those notifications come, come up, come across, okay, a new YouTube video from this person. And when I'm at church, I don't want to be distracted. So I found that it was best for me to just take my, um, you know, my um, paper Bible. All right. The other thing I have in here is my happy planner because inside my happy planner is a place for me to let me flip to it this is my faith planner and there is a place in here where i can actually take notes so that is why i take this because i keep this in here because this is where i can keep my notes i used to um try to take a different notebook but i found that that was not working for me because i didn't think the happy planner would have enough paper but it does and this seems to work better for me so i always know where my bible is and i always know where my planner is and now speaking of planners i also have these pens oh it's upside down i'm sorry y'all I have these pens that I keep in there. These are erasable um, like gel pens that I got for my Happy Planner. And so I just keep these in here and they come in a variety of colors. All right. And so I got these off of Amazon. I will leave the link in the description box if you're interested. And then, of course, I just have some, I don't know if y'all can see that right here and right there i just have some extra ink pens right there and i have a hole right there for another one and then on this side there's another little pocket and i haven't done it yet i'm looking to see if i have a highlighter but i'm going to put a highlighter in let me see if y'all can see it yeah this little pocket right here i'm going to put a highlighter in there 
And then right here, guys, this is just a big space. I don't know what else I can put in there. So um, there may be some other things that I can put in there, but I still have space left over. But back to the planner, there's also an envelope in here. Because like I said, I do take this to church. In the budget part of my happy planner, there is an envelope in here. Um, this green envelope right here where I can keep my tithes and offerings in there. All right. So because we are, I do believe in being a cheerful giver and giving my tithes and offerings when I um, go to my place of worship. All right, and then the last thing I have is in this zip part, and I just have um, some mints. Y'all see, I still got the like I said, I just got this bag from Wilson's Leather. This 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 little tag is still in here, but I have some mints, and um, because at my church they tell you not to chew gum. Sometimes I still will put some gum in here. I don't really chew the gum if I just pop a piece in my mouth and just kind of suck on it. But um, this is also the place where I will put a snack because sometimes I do get a little hungry in between services. It's not because we're in church for a long time. It's just that um. You know, because of the medications that I'm on, y'all know I'm a breast cancer survivor. Sometimes I get a little hungry. So sometimes I take a snack with me. So this is, again, my church bag, my spiritual journey bag. So this is where I, this is the bag that I take to church. All right. Now, if you have kiddos, I have bags for my kids too. So like this is my little daughter's bag. She is eight. So this is her little bag. And inside, <laughs> I have, because you know, when you go to church and you're in church for a while, kids need stuff to do. So I got this little notepad for her to take notes. If she can't, you know, if your child is too little to like sit there and take notes, like if the pastor is preaching and he's talking about Jonah and the whale, maybe you can have them just draw a picture. All right. But, or they can just draw pictures. It's just something to give them something to do to keep them occupied. If your church does not have like a children's church ministry or something like that. Our church has children's church, but it's only every other Sunday. All right. And so of course with the um, pen, I mean with the pad, I also keep a little pen in here, and this happens to be a little smelly strawberry pen. You know, you try to make it fun for the kids. And then, of course, they have their snack, and then an extra snack for after church, like on our way home. And then, of course, I want to teach my children at a young age to be givers when we go to church, you know, to just cheerfully give because the church is a ministry that does a lot for the community. And it it can't function without your um so financial support. So this is their little ties and offering of money. So I give them like they have today fifty cents for Sunday school and then a dollar for the regular offering. So that's my little girl's bag. And then I have Camille's bag. Camille got this bag from Justice for Christmas, um, I think last year. So in her bag. She has her little wallet. I think I got this little sock purse from the Dollar Tree. And again, she has a dollar and then she has some change in there for, for Sunday school. And let's see. Inside her bag, it's pretty much the same thing. Her notebook is a little different. So she has her notebook to take notes. And what we do is after church, we do like kind of like talk to our children about what, you know, what they got out of the service, what they learned in church that day, you know, because you are your child's first teacher. And then she has some pens. This one is the, the grape scented one. And then this is just another purple gel pen. And her snack today is some Cheez-Its. I got these Cheez-Its yesterday from Kroger. They're still having the sale, y'all. Go check out my Kroger video. These were the big boxes were $1.99. And this is her snack for on the way home. All right, so that is it, guys. 
So again, like I said, this is my church bag. You know, my faith is very important to me and my family. So I just wanted to share this guy, share this video with you all. Um, again, go check out Nikki's channel at home with Nikki. I mean, she is an organ organizational guru and i and it's so ironic that she posted that video you know and it had been on my heart to do it so i wanted to do it also all right because we can all learn different ideas from each other so you guys have an amazing day be blessed <laughs> and i will see you at the next video